What's up, Video 4 Nation? I'm Magic Bard, and for today we're going to be going through a freeze frame effect. So, fairly simple. We're going to be using the pen tool a little bit, a little bit of the tracker controls, and yeah, you'll get straight into it. Not that hard, just a little bit tedious, as you'll see. So, before we get started, I want to give a couple of shout outs to Hypershock Designs and Sufian. Appreciate the love, guys. Thanks a lot. And if you're new to Video Ford, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it. So that way you'll be the first to see our next video every time it comes out. And maybe leave us a comment. And even better, get a shout out. But it's not always about the shout out, guys. You are learning a lot on this channel. I love to see what you guys are doing and love to hear from you. So with that being said, let's jump into it. Okay, guys. So here's what we're doing. And really quickly, I'll just kind of tell you how to do it. Um, and then we'll get into the step-by-step -step. so um, maybe you guys can figure out how to do it without watching this whole thing so check it out um, what I have here are the freeze frames okay so what we're gonna do is freeze each of these frames okay so I have three of them where she jumps into place or strikes a pose and then I have my null objects which are basically my tracking information and I connect each frame to the null okay so each frame to the tracked null and then what I do is for this little extra footage that I don't have tracking placements for I just do a basic zoom in so if I open up my keyframes here I can show you that I move the position a little bit the scale and opacity to fade it in so that's a quick way of how to do it now let's get into the step by step so what we're going to do is create a new composition um, 1920 by 1080 and we'll call it our freeze frame comp press OK cool we've got that here and drag your clip into the composition so this is a 4k clip so it looks like it's zoomed in so I'm just gonna zoom out here so it fits the composition okay cool now what we're going to do is you can scroll through your clip and find places where they where your actor does the pose so mine is about right here so what I'm gonna do is when you find a good pose take your clip and command D to duplicate it and then with the playhead right above the place where your actor is doing the pose you're gonna right click go to time and freeze frame okay and then all you have to do is just trim the clip all the way down to that freeze frame and that's what you're gonna do for every single pose okay so she does another pose right about here let's see and you want to find a place where it's not blurry so it's a little bit blurry here so I'm not gonna use that this looks good right there so same thing command D to duplicate this right click time and freeze frame okay and then we can trim it down because we don't need any of that same thing for the last pose about right okay right there and command D right click time and freeze frame boom okay so then the next part is now we need to cut out our actor and we can use the pen tool and all you have to do is make sure your layer is selected zoom in there and start to trace your actor so I'm doing just a rough fast trace right here and I will fast forward this video alright great so once you've got your actor all traced out um, now we can scroll through it and you can see that so I'm gonna go back to that freeze frame and now we're going to start tracking okay so when you track the when you track for that freeze frame you want to do it on the plane that your actor is at so my actor is basically right on this line which is perfect for us so what we can do is with the layer selected I'll open up the tracker controls. so if you guys don't see that on your After Effects just go to window tracker okay right there so with your layer selected hit track motion and what we're going to do is 
find a point, a good point to track. And like I was saying before, anywhere on this plane, okay, will be perfect. So I'm gonna go with the line. Even though this is a not the best tracking point, because what you want is a solid like black and white contrasty area to track, because that'll be easier for After Effects to find. Um, but this is fine for now since I didn't leave any tracker markers out here. Okay, so you want to track the position and the scale. So click the checkbox for the scale and we'll set a second tracker point right across the way on that line. And then you can analyze this. Let me open this up. And you can analyze it backwards until we basically go out of frame. So. I'm just going to track this all the way through. Um, you can use the full like play button to analyze backwards, but sometimes it uh, jumps off of the tracking point and messes up. I just want to do this for now, so I'll fast forward this part. Okay, good, and once you have tracked your position or your points right to the edge of the frame, then what you can do is let me fit this in here. Um, add a null object. So go to layer new, null object, and edit the target to that null that we just created. So null number five, which is this one, and press OK, and apply it. Okay, so we'll apply those tracking data points, and you can see those right here. So trim that down again. Okay, just trimming the fat. Remember, guys, we don't need any of these. Um, that section of the null. So now what we can do is drag your playhead to the very end of your um, freeze frame and take that pick whip tool, click, drag, and let go right on your null, and now you'll be tracked to the null. Okay? So you'll only be tracked to that place right here where we ended it. What we're gonna have to do is manually create a zoom in. So I'm gonna hit S for scale, keyframe that, okay? And I'm gonna hit P for position, keyframe that as well. I'm gonna hit U so I can see both those keyframes, and let me fit this in. I'm going to bring it out a bit, maybe to about right here, and what I'll do is scale this up to maybe 100, and then move her into place. So maybe she's a little bit to the right, and then I'll bring her down and then what's gonna happen is she'll snap right into a position and boom, like that. Okay, cool, that works. Let's uh, trim that down as well, all the way down to the keyframe, and hit T for opacity and we'll fade her in as well. So keyframe the opacity and start it at 0%, and then bring it in to maybe a second long or less, and drop that to 100. Okay, so that's good. And one last thing we're going to add here um, is a fast blur. So type in fast in your effects and presets and add this fast blur right onto our layer. And what we're going to do is start the blur. Okay, so keyframe that blurriness at 100. And then at about here, it will fade in. So bring the blurriness down to zero and press U and you can see all the keyframes that you just made. So let's see it in action. Okay, awesome, that works great. And actually one last thing before we end this one off is turn the motion blur on for that layer. So that's gonna be this little guy with the uh, three circles and then turn it on for the composition by clicking him right here or that. Um, that way when the camera shakes the there will be a little bit of blur on our freeze frame. Okay, and now guys, that is how you create the effect. All you have to do is redo that same sequence that we just did right here for this one and um, this one as well. And then what you've got is a freeze frame sequence that will look like this. Okay guys, so um, check it out. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, be creative with this one. You can create a lot of really cool stuff with it. There's a lot of music videos that 
use this effect and um, do it pretty well. So check it out, have some fun, and hope you enjoyed it. All right, guys, I hope that tutorial helped you out. And if it did, please leave us a like and let us know in the comment section if there's any type of visual effects you guys would like to learn. I know this one, um, someone sent me a music video and that's how I got the idea for this effect. So I appreciate what you guys are sending us on Video Fort in the comment section. Let us know. This is Video Fort. I'm Magic Bard. And I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>